I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, good morning. What is that? Hmm. Hey everybody, it's me, Kai Man. I am still here in Florida. Um, and I'll be here for a while. Um, I just wanted to, I was thinking about this every morning that I wake up and I wash my face and I brush my teeth. Um, I am reminded that I am older because I have gray hairs in my eyebrows and I've got gray hairs on my sides here. And I'm really proud of them actually because there are quite a few of my classmates from like high school that um, are no longer with us. Like they passed away like years ago, either from heart attacks, um, people just dropped dead, you know what I'm saying? And so to me, being able to um, look at the gray hairs and my eyebrows and my hair and just be like, I made it, you know, I made it to 51. This year I'll be 52 years old. And so I just honor the fact that every morning when I get up, I'm able to be alive, I'm able to breathe, I'm able to have all of my faculties and that um, I'm able to actually move my body and things. When my mother was 52 years old, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. So for me, it is so important to be able to just be in alignment with my total being and know who I am and know what's going on around me and to be able to, you know, be in a spiritual place, a good place spiritually and be in a good place physically, you know, especially mentally. So getting older to me, um, you know, most people, they get upset or, you know, get sad because you know now we're getting older we have gray hair but to me it's an honor it is a privilege to be able to get older i met a young guy say to me the other day he was like you know everybody here calls me auntie <laughs> and so it's a privilege for your children's friends to call you ma or your your nieces and nephews their friends to call you auntie you know it's a privilege for that and to be able to share you know knowledge and wisdom and you know information with them and for them to to really get it and to understand it and want to and actually want to talk to you you know what I mean like really want to talk to you want to hear what it is that you have to say that is amazing and I'm in a good place and I love getting older and I don't mind being someone's grandma I don't mind being someone's aunt or great aunt I really don't mind that because it's an honor and it's a privilege to be able to be those things well after um he and I had a really good conversation my niece's friend um he had said to me that you know, your your wisdom is like, you know, um, someone's grandma. And um, he said, I I'm, I'm, don't mean to be disrespectful. I said, oh, no. Oh, no. I said, that is amazing to me. That is an honor for you to think of me in that way. And that, you know, it is time for us as um, the leaders of the generation, the ones that are older to really begin to share, you know, information with the younger ones so that they can understand why they're here, what their purpose is, and to understand who they are as people and to understand their power and to help them see exactly who they are and to answer questions that they might have. You know, it's it's uh, it's an honor to be able to do that. It's an honor. There there are times when I was growing up that um I loved sitting at the feet of of the older women um even if they you know weren't really speaking to me in a sense just to be able to hear the knowledge and the wisdom that they were sharing things that they were saying. You know that's an honor to be able to have that. And a lot of people you know a lot of young people don't have that nowadays. They don't have you know 
someone older that has lived a life, you know, similar to theirs because we walk around and making them think that we're perfect, that we haven't done any wrong things or that, you know, we haven't lived a life of of sin, so to speak, um, you know, that we haven't lived, you know, and that's that's crazy. We have to share those things with them, you know, to say, yes, I've had those very same experiences. But here, this is something that you can look forward to or, you know, to be able to share things with them and things that they didn't even understand or didn't, didn't even have not even heard before. Information like um, frequency and power that they have, they don't know that that they have power and for us to be able to sit down with them and to share that information with them and to give them you know more of what life is really about so that they're always not you know wanting to be someone else or to have someone else's life they can enjoy their own because they know who they are and why they're here that's a privilege for us. That's an honor. That's a, a gift for us to be able to give to them. That's our legacy to be able to share information with them. So when we're no longer here, we don't have to worry about them when they leave. And that's all of them because we should be loving all of them, all of them. And so it's amazing to be able to get older and to be able to share knowledge and wisdom with other people. But it's just a blessing to be able to see gray hair and to know that I made it this far. You know, hopefully I'll go a little bit further, but I'm happy that I made it this far. I want you to show me how to get to know someone like you, someone like you.